hello everybody, this is Joe Lamb, your instructional coach, one of your instructional coaches. Uh, today what I'm going to do is, um, let me just start off by saying that probably one of the questions I get asked the most is how do I create a exam that is easy to grade, secure, and um, you know, easy to put into uh, the grade book and one of the things that I like to do is I like to use Google Forms because it's really easy to create a multiple choice test and th the reason I get this question quite frequently is because of the removal of Scantron so let me just show you really quickly and easily how this can work um, and also how this can integrate with some of the stuff that you already do to make your life a little bit easier so on the screen here I'm gonna start in my Google Drive and I'm gonna click on new and I'm gonna scroll down to more and we're gonna click on Google Forms and that's going to open up a blank form for us today. Now you've probably seen Google Forms before quite a bit as a lot of staff and students use them as a way to get survey information. But some of the nice features of Google Forms is the fact that you can actually lock it on Chromebooks so students cannot access any other materials. We're going to go up to the top part here and click on the gear. And we're going to change the settings that are associated with this. So I'm going to go over to the right part here and click on quizzes. And I'm going to click on make this a quiz. It's going to assign point values and allow for auto grading. I'm also going to turn on locked mode. Now down here at the bottom, you can release the grade immediately after the submission or later after manual review. However you want to do that is fine. I'm going to go back to general. It looks like all the information here is fixed because we have locked mode on, so I'm going to go ahead and click on save. Now there are really two ways that you can go about developing an exam on this. Um, the first one is to actually write your questions into the form and write out multiple choice answers. The other way you can do this is actually use a previously made exam that is on paper and then just correlate it to information that is on the Google form. So let me show you an example. First one, we're going to go ahead and type in a name here. So we'll just call this AP Chemistry Exam 2. All right. I'm going to click in the top left-hand corner because that's automatically going to give it the title that I want. For a question, I can click down here. And now what I would do is I would type in my question. And then I can click in my answer choices. Just click tab. You can add alternate answer choices. <laughs> Alone. No, just kidding. So once you have your answer choices picked here, um, you can go down to answer key. Pick the choice that is the right answer and assign it a point value. Go back to edit question and your question is done. Now you can choose from a variety of different types of questions here. You have the drop down menu, which is great for something like matching. You can do short answer paragraph, but they won't be uh, graded automatically. But the rest of these should be pretty straightforward. You want to require that question and you'll be in good shape. Now another way that you can go through and do this is let's say you already have a, a, a multiple choice test that's already been built and you have it on paper. You could still give students the paper version of the test, but in this instance, you would type in something like number one, A, B, C, D. Now notice that the answer choices aren't given here and neither is the question. That's what would be on the paper that you provide your students. And then you would just key this almost like you would a Scantron. You click on B and you're good to go. All right. For each subsequent question, you can click duplicate, change the number, change the answer key. Make sure you unclick the one that was correct before. And then you can continue the process until you have all of your questions taken care of in this. So the question now is, when do I give this to students? Um, some people will post it in classroom, but remember that if it's posted in classroom, every student is going to have access to it. And so then, rather having it be posted all day in your Google Classroom, I would just simply post it when you are ready to give the exam. Now, if you do it this way, what's really nice is that students will be locked into it. So again, students will not be able to access any other website other than this one until they go through and they complete the entire exam. 
And then also, if they don't have the paper copy in front of them, then they won't be able to go through and answer the questions. They won't know what questions they're going to encounter. So it makes it really nice and easy for you to be able to create an answer key for them to be able to go in. But yet, even if they were to access it early, they still would not be able to go through and complete any of it because, again, they don't have any of the questions or the answers. And you're, they're not going to be able to see any of those. Now, um, I know there's been a lot of information here. One other thing I do want to show you is in the responses section. You'll be able to see all of your student responses here for quick and easy data analysis to be able to drive future instruction. Then also, if you click on the kind of the little cross here in the upper right hand corner, this creates a spreadsheet. And then you'll be able to individually analyze questions and really get be able to dig deeper into the information that's given. You can always turn off the responses by click on not accepting responses. So that means that students will not be able to access it when you have that clicked. And then when you're ready to have it access again, you can click that button and then you'll be able to access the responses and students will be able to submit again. I think that pretty much covers it, but as always, if you have any questions, please consult uh, myself or Ms. Ketchum. I know we'd be happy to help you um, in taking a look at this or any of your other instructional coaching needs. Thank you guys. Have a great day and we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.